Hi, this is Pickle Pong Deb. Today's episode is identifying balls that start wars or speeding up the ball. There's a lot of balls that do that, and the modern game is even more so starting wars with slow balls, high balls, short balls, and we're going to go through all of those balls that are attackable. Here we go. The first one is high floaty balls that are up here. High floaty balls. The next ball is a slow nothing ball that has no energy of its own. This ball. Attacking a bounced ball, you're taking a risk. Because coming from a low to a high sometimes goes in people's wheelhouse, where if you hit it and you don't hit it with an up zip, they're going to hit it right back at you harder. So be careful of this that you attack certain areas like the right shoulder or up here where people get awkward with it. Or better yet, in space in space between your two opponents. The next ball to attack is the ball that does not bounce, that your opponent can reach and come up with it with topspin. Come up with it with topspin to attack the tweener ball, the ball that does not bounce, but it's floaty and you can explode on it. Again, going at space is the best. Here we go. That's why when you're dinking, make sure you make that ball bounce, no matter how short or tall they are. If they can reach it, they can promote speed on it. Your opponent has been told to serve deep and return deep. If they do not return deep, you can pounce on that short ball and generate some pace. It might include a drive and then a fifth shot drop, but at least you're initiating pace off the short ball. Sometimes what that pace does, it either sets up a high ball or an easier ball to drop by you starting pace. Now this one is, I'm going to return Mike's serve, he's going to attempt to drop it and it bounces a little too high down and up. And what my shot technique should be is a step back drive with pace because it's too high. In review, attackable balls. Of course, the green light specials are the floaty up. And when you choose to attack that ball, your first thought is to attack space. Your second thought is to attack feet. Your third shot thought is to attack your opponents where they defeat their reaction time, which is your least 
favorite attack mode. At space, at feet, defeat reaction time. The second one was the marginal ball or the dink that is nothing, that has no energy or life on its own, where you can accentuate the top spin. Again, choose your top spin, drives smartly. Yep. The third one was the tweener. The one you're like this and you can reach it, where you can push up, push up. Again, go in space. The fourth one was a short return. Drive it. That makes the fifth shot a little bit easier sometimes. The last method was the step back drive off a high bounced dink. Go ahead and have some fun with it.